Hello everyone and welcome to the first extra video of the Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. And first off are the side quests. But of course those I, I can't show all of those in one video. So first off I'm showing the other entrance to Dracula, well the other exit of Dracula's castle. Which uh, is close, well to get here you'd have to go to the split uh, in the, well, you'd have to take the other way right after Blackmoor and uh, Spite. Up here is a chest with a heart up, guarded by the Red Smasher obviously. The other exit is downwards. In these videos I'll show uh, two to three villages uh, side quests at a time, perhaps even four. Mm. Yeah, it depends on how long the footage is. This may look like a dead end, but it isn't. Just uh, hit the floor, and there we go, it breaks away. And there's another break wall here. With the Paris entrance. And it's just with Super Potion. With a, with a Super Potion, not with Super Potion. Yeah. Okay. Just go, uh, go through the wall. That hole, well that opening over there is for Albus mode. Because Albus, in Albus mode you can't use glyphs, but you can teleport around. And this glyph is Felicium Theo, which increases luck by 8 points if you have it active. Pretty useful for farming rare drops, so it has proven to be very useful during the time that I've been recording, trying to record all of this. And just an enemy room, so nothing, no big deal here. The next room should be the exit, and holds yet another cliff. There it is. <laughs> They're being generous with these now, huh? Rapidus Vio en enables fa even faster movement. And it even you can even damage the enemies that get close, or you, that you get close to. The other exit opens up two new areas, the large cavern and the training hall, which are both challenges. One's a combat challenge, the other's a uh, platforming challenge. And here I show the best place I could find to farm Mandrake Root, which is a requirement for uh, Abram's third quest. Don't remember the names of the quest though. But it requires mandrake boots. With uh, each of the uh, quests that require rare drops, or reasonably rare drops, I show a good place to where to farm them. And then I just deliver it. Uh, this time I did get the mandrake uh, boots. And it was pretty close, <laughs> I think. That one was about to self destruct. Okay, now it's just I just got to safe area and there we go. Hello, there you are. That uh, unlocked the high potion and the high tonic in for purchase in the shop. Most of the quest, uh, most of the quests uh, unlock stuff in the uh, uh, in the shop. <coughs> uh, Abram's quests unlock healing items. Uh, Laura's quest, the jeweler really unlock. Works. Uh, Unlock accessories. Oh, there you are! And this is to get. Uh, this is Abram's final quest, where he asks us to get sage, very common, and mand uh, merman uh, meat, not so common. I'd even say it's one of the rarest. Well, it is one of the rarest drops in this uh, game. The enemy drops from the Lorelei only appears in one area. Well. One, uh, yeah, one area, I'd call it, and uh, it has a five-star drop there. chance, which is very rare. But I got it during farming it in this room in Calidus Channel. Uh, this room has two exits: one uh, to the s above there, one to the side. There are three lower lies, so if you enter to one of the and, and if you go in one side and then you can quickly exit to the other and just get and you know, dive back in and out to get it Yo, and this uh, well, here I found out I made a small mistake because I didn't have any sage with me Later. which is pretty stupid so I went and got some it's pretty common in early 
early areas. Uh, Minerva, uh, Prison Island, for example. And this gives, you know, this unlocks the uh, Super Potion for purchase. Extreme, well, very, very expensive. But very useful because it restores full health. No matter how, um, uh, no matter how much There's damage you've taken and how much ma maximum health is, Super Potion will always restore everything. And there I just showed that I had all the quests done, but that was the latest recording. This was the first recording I made. Here, because I didn't record this all in order. That would have taken me an eternity. Okay, this is Laura's second quest where we get you know, give her you know, the emerald, sapphire and ruby, which will unlock uh, the accessories in the store that uh, give pre elemental protection, I believe. Yeah, that's I believe that's what her accessories, you know, the accessories you unlock from her quest do. Okay. <coughs> Uh, here she asks us to get a diamond and an onyx, which can be found in multiple places in break well, in some places in breakable walls. But there are also very common drops in the training hall and a uh, large cavern. <clears throat> More about the cavern and the hall later on when we get to their videos. Okay. Alexandrite, that's the fi her final quest, get Alexandrite, which only drops in the training hall, May the light and only in one chest, and then there's even a, just a chance of it get you getting it. Uh, to get uh, the, the Alexandrite you need to get to the uh, very end of the training room, and then and drop all the way down, get all the chests you want, and then you find one final chest, which can drop, uh, that can give Alexandrite. Not will, can, so keep that in mind. And with that we get the Royal Crown. One, uh, a very good piece of gear. Increases all stats, I believe. So, but that's it for this video, so thank you for watching, and join me next time when we go for Eugen, Aeon, and see what else.